Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another tutorial by Eclectify. Today we're going to talk about Firebase Core. And this is the package you always need to install before you can use any other Firebase package. First things first, of course, just copy this to your clipboard. Then here I just created a new Flutter app project underneath your dependencies. Just paste it in here and then run pubget. Now there will be some other steps we have to do in order to install this. So if you scroll further down here, you will see that you have to take a look at the documentation here. And as you can see here, the notice says that this page is archived. So you have to go to this website. Once you're here, you can see the first step is to install the Firebase CLI command line interface. If you don't have this already, click on here, which will open up this here. And here you can see how you can install it either on Windows, Mac or or Linux. So if you were to install it on Windows, you can either use the standalone binary, which you can get from here. And then you have to access this binary within a shell where you can run the Firebase command. And then you can log into the command line interface of Firebase and test it. Otherwise, you can also use NPM, the node package manager, which you can see here how to install it. But in my case, I'm on Mac OS. So I'm gonna have a look at the Mac OS installment. Here you have three options, either the standalone binary again, NPM, or you can use the automatic install script, which I'm gonna use. So let's see how we can do this. It's very simple. You simply copy this to your clipboard. So just press on here. Then in your terminal, just paste it in here and press enter. You might have to enter your password. In my case, this is already installed. As you can see here, your machine already has Firebase installed nothing to do and then you can log into the CLI that's very simple so first of all to make sure that this actually worked just enter in your terminal fire and then use the tab key on your keyboard to see whether it auto completes and as you can see here firebase was auto completed so it works and as recommended here we're simply going to log in and as you can see here, I'm already logged in with my Firebase account. If you don't have a Firebase account, very simple. You have to go to firebase.com, which will in this case forward you to firebase.google.com. And then you should have here the option to log in, sign in. If you haven't already used Firebase before, then you would normally set up your Firebase account here. The steps are very straightforward. If you already have Firebase account, then you can just click here to go to your console. And then you can create a new project here. I'm going to call it YT Firebase Core Tutorial and then I'm going to press on continue. I'll leave this all as it is. Then I'm going to select my analytics account. Now the project is ready. So we're going to press on continue. And now we have a Firebase project. Let's now test our Firebase within our app. Simply use this command here, Firebase projects colon list. And this will give you a summary table of all the different projects you have. So now that we've installed the Firebase CLI, as we've already done, we've used our Firebase login. Then we're gonna activate the flutter fire CLI command. Simply paste this into our terminal. This might take a couple of seconds, but once that is done, we're done with step one. Now let's continue with step two. And now we're gonna use the newly activated flutter fire underscore CLI command to configure our apps with Firebase. Simply gonna copy this to your clipboard then paste it in here. It's gonna fetch all your existing projects on your Firebase account. And you can simply navigate the project you want to use with your arrow keys up and down. In this case, as you can see here, I have this project which we just created earlier. So I'm going to press enter and now I can select the Firebase project to configure for my Flutter application. Just press enter so that it will set up Firebase for Android, iOS, macOS and web. One thing to mention is that whenever your Flutter app needs to support a new platform, so for example, you have your existing Flutter app supporting iOS and Android, and now you added web support, you need to run Flutter Fire configure again. So now onto step three, as you can see here, in this case, we would add Firebase core to our pubspec.yaml file, but we already did that in the beginning. Then we have to import Firebase core into our Dart file, in this case, our main file. Let's scroll all the way to the top and let's Let's paste it in here. Normally this should not show you an error. Now Flutterfire configure was successful and it generated different Firebase app IDs as you will see here. Then it's important to always initialize the app
usually you should only execute this command once so that's why i'm gonna put this in the main function of our app before run app and paste it in here one thing you have to do then is also add the async keyword to your function because otherwise you cannot await this before you write the await firebase dot initialize app you also have to paste this in there to ensure that the widgets are initialized otherwise your app will not work and another thing you also have to do for ios is cd so change directory into the ios folder as you can see i'm already in here so there's no ios in there and then you need to run pod repo update and then run pod install and then you should be good to go to run the app on ios as well now we're done with setting up firebase core now if you want to add other firebase plugins you would simply add the plugin to your pubspec.yaml file run flutter fire configure again and you might have to do some other setup depending on the different packages you want to use for firebase as you can see here's a list of the different firebase packages you can use for example the cloud firestore or firebase off but for these firebase packages i will have other tutorials i hope you like this tutorial please leave Leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching